Alright guys, here's my tutorial for uh, Oblivion Infinite Gold. So what you need to do is go all the way to System Settings, go to Memory, go to your HD, obviously, or whatever you have. Go to Clear System Cache, which yes. Or if you know the button combination, you could do that too. And we're going to start up the game. And what it does when you clear the cache is takes out all the updates so uh... if you're gonna play another game after oblivion you're gonna have to update but we're not gonna update oblivion because we need that duplication glitch so we push no if you push yes it's gonna patch up the duplication and you're not gonna be able to get infinite gold so that's not good Alright, loading, loading. Alright, let's load up my game. I'm gonna start at Frost Craig, but um, I'm just gonna skip to uh, the market district for now, so you guys don't have to watch me do that. Alright, as you can see, I already duplicated those axes, and it makes it kind of laggy, so trying to duplicate too much, I just kind of get crazy with it, because I just found it out and I was like so excited. Alright, what I do is go to Divine Elegance, because she, I haven't really looked around at much of the merchants, but it seems like she has the most money. So we're going to wait for her store to open. Let's wait about 9 o'clock, that'd be good. Going here. I should, probably should have did this um, loading stuff out, but it's not too bad. Alright. Yeah, yeah, go to barter. And then, see, let's look for something she would have of value that you could sell back to her. She really doesn't have much, and what I have isn't going to get you much. So we're going to go to Red Jewelry. I think it's called Red Red Something Jewelry. And go over there because she takes clothing, jewelry, all the stuff like that. So Jewelry is probably your safest bet to get the most money out of one run through. Alright, Red Diamond Jewelry is what it was. He's not open yet because he's lazy and he doesn't want to open his door. So we'll go about 11 o'clock. Alright. Once again, we're loading. And if you don't know how to do the duplication glitch, you should probably go look for a tutorial for it before you watch this video. Alright, alright. I uh, duplicated some sage stones, which probably wasn't a good idea because they're really big and they make the room lag, the game I lag. Alright, let's see what he has. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure let's go barter. Hey, all these things look pretty expensive. I don't know if she could take too many of those. Let's look for a decent price, around 200. That gold emerald, this looks good. Let's see if we have any more. Yeah, I think that gold emerald would probably be the best. Let's see here. Yep. Alright, we're gonna get one of these. And we're gonna get out of here and go back to. Goodbye. Um, divine elegance. All right, loading, loading, loading. All right. 
So we go over here so none of the rings get lost under the seats or anything. And uh, put away your weapon just to make sure you, you do the glitch right. Alright. Um, now you strike the ground. You get a silver or whatever arrow. Alright. Then you drop the rings. And you might want to get something a little bit bigger, like a necklace. Because rings might be a pain to pick up. Alright, now what you're going to do after you get all these rings is... You're going to go to barter her, and then sell as many rings as you can to her money limit. So that you can do this as fast as you can. It's not really a time thing, it's just... It's kind of tedious if you need a lot of money, or if you want a lot of money for greedy. All right, so go to her. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please, yeah, whatever. Oh, right, barter over there. Go to your rings. And I'm gonna see if I can haggle her a little bit. Um, that's too much for her to. Fifty percent, still too much for. Her. 49, still too much. <laughs> Let's go to, how about 45? Seems like a good medium. Alright, so she'll take that. Now, uh, what's the most we can sell to her that'll almost max out her money, but not quite? So try night, no, it's a little bit too much for her money. I <sighs> should try 12. Yeah, she'll take that, but you want to really squeeze it in. So, yeah, you could squeeze a little bit more. 16, yeah, 16 is about right. It's about the closest we're gonna get to 1200. So just keep doing 16 until you almost get to the end of your supply for gold and emeralds, gold emerald ring. All right, one more 16. And this is really important because you need one more ring so you can keep doing the duplicate and glitch. So we're gonna sell the five. And that'll leave us with one ring. And then now we're gonna back out. We're gonna go back over here and do the duplicating glitch again. And this is pretty much all that's to it. Just do it over and over again until you get your desired amount of money. Pick up all these Cheerio sized items. Like I said, it'd probably be easier if you just um, get necklace, maybe a necklace or something. Alright. I don't think I got them all. Let's see. Back to barter. I can just do this again. All the way 16. Almost max her out. All the way 16 again. Till you almost run out of rings. Then just leave one left so you can do the duplicating glitch again. And pick them all up and do it over and over again. And it should max out your money. As you can see, I did it a few times already. But yep, I hope that helped you guys. See you later.